Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Did you know that quiz videos are making tons of money on YouTube? Unbelievable, right? Here's an example of a quiz YouTube channel. If we scroll down to their videos, we can see that it has thousands, even millions of viewers. They have 404,000 subscribers, and even their newly uploaded videos already gained thousands of views. Here on Social Blade, we can see how much money they have been earning. They have $2,000 to $35,000 monthly earnings, as you can see here. Let me show you another example of a quiz YouTube channel. So this one has gained more than 270,000 subscribers already. As you can see, their newly uploaded videos have also gained thousands of viewers. And if we scroll down, this video even got 18 million views. And some of their other videos also got millions of views. If you also want to start creating this kind of content on YouTube and possibly earn thousands of dollars and subscribers monthly, please keep on watching because I will show you how you can create this type of videos just by using Canva and ChatGPT. So first thing that you have to do is to go to canva.com and go to videos and choose YouTube videos template. Once you're in, click on Elements, then choose a nice background. So I will search for a spiral background here because for me, it looks attractive. But of course, you can choose any background that you want. It still depends on your own creativity and taste. For me, I think I'm just going to choose this one. And I just need to resize this. Of course, it needs to fit in our video, in our template. Next, let's add a heading. This is where I'm going to put the question, but I'm going to edit it first. So I will need to position it here first. And then I'm just going to change its color. And I guess I'm going to change some of its effects as well. So I think this one looks good. So I'm going to choose this one. I also changed the thickness and the color of the border so i guess black uh, matches here and then of course i also want to change its font style so i guess i'm just gonna choose i guess i'm just gonna go back to canvas sans and then okay now let's go to chat gpt as you can see here i asked chat gpt to give me a 10 item multiple choice k-pop quiz um, in a table format. So K-pop is very popular nowadays. So I guess it will attract a lot of viewers. So I just copied the first question. And of course, I need to edit its font size and its font style. And then next, let's go to elements. Let me just choose this shape right here. This is where I'm going to put the choices or the options for the questions. So of course, to make it look more appealing, you have to change the color. So I'm just choosing here. So you can just play around with the shape here until you get your desired appearance. And then you can also just click this one to change the border weight and corner rounding of this shape. And then once you're satisfied, you can just like right click on this and then click duplicate. So here I'm going to have four options for each question. So I'm going to put four um, shapes here. Now that it's done, I'm just going to add a text here so I can put the choices for the questions. I'm just going to highlight this and I'll go back to ChatGPT to copy the options for my questions here. So I'm just going to put the first option here, which is BTS. And then, of course, I'll just have to change the font style and the font size. So I'm just going to make three more copies of this text by right-clicking the text and clicking Duplicate. So. Uh, 
the font style and the font size will just be the same. And then I'm just going to go back to ChatGPT and copy the rest of the options. I want to give my audience at least 10 seconds to answer each question, so I just have to adjust this one here. Let's adjust the duration to, I think I'll have to go for 15 seconds. So I just added five more seconds to give time for the transition and also for the revealing of the answer. So I'm just going to split this slide for the answer reveal. So this is the slide for the answer. So what I'm going to do next is to copy this shape right here. So I'm just going to duplicate. So this shape will serve as a mark for your answer. So I'm going to change the color of this one. After changing the color, I'm just going to drag this to the answer and then change the layer to backward. So it will look like this. But I think I'm going to change the color. Um, I think I need a much lighter tone. Okay, I think this one looks better. So I will also change the animation so it will look more appealing. So I think I'm just going to choose, I think I'm just going to choose wipe here. And then you can also change the speed of its reveal. So you can set it to slow or faster. It's up to you. Next thing that we're going to do is to go to elements and search for frames. Okay, I'm going to choose the circular frame here. This is where I'm going to put the timer. So let's search for a timer. Of course, we want our video to look more appealing, more interesting. And we also want to see, or we also want our viewers to see how much time they have been consuming while thinking about the answer to the questions. And also, just make sure that while you are putting the timer here, you are on the first slide, not on the answer reveal slide, okay? And this is just a quick preview of what we have done so far. So, as you can see, the timer is working. And the answer. Of course, it doesn't look complete yet, so let us add more graphics here. So let's go back to the first slide and let us also go back to the elements search bar and let's search for more graphics. So let me just search for a cute question mark. So I guess I'm just going to go for this one. The simple, the better, I guess. <laughs> Simplicity is beauty. So let's just duplicate this. And so we have two question marks here. Make sure it's aligned. Okay, so I guess these graphics are enough for the first or for our video. Of course, we also have to add more graphics to the answer reveal slide. So let's just search for more graphics here. So I'm just going to choose something like a smiley face. I think this one looks good. So let me put it here. And we can change the animation here, something that will match the answer reveal. And to save some time, the next thing that we're going to do is to go to Apps and search for Bulk Create and then click on Enter Data Manually. You're going to see a table like this. So let's go back to ChatGPT. I'm just going to copy the entire table. So it is important to ask ChatGPT for a table format quiz. And then I'm just going to paste it here. Once done pasting, just click on Done. And then the next thing that we're going to do is to connect data. So let's just right click on it and let's click on connect data. So this for the question, this one for option A, this one for option B, this one is for option C, connect data. Let's connect this to option D. Okay. After connecting all the data, the next thing that we're going to do is to click on continue. And then click on Generate 10 Designs and just wait for it. So as you can see, we have successfully added all 10 questions as well as the choices. So using the Bulk Create app, we were able to save some time. And now we just have to make some small adjustments, which I think will not even 
take us a lot of time. So I guess that's it for this tutorial. If you find this helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you again on the next video.